The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? All the action is next, live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Croatia against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrej Kramaric. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. And the match begins. Well, you might say history speaks for Brazil. On seven occasions, they've made it to the final before. They've recorded five victories. They're always going to fancy their chances. How do you view their prospects in this one, Stuart? Well, right at the start of the tournament, I asked the question, are they a great side or just a good side? If they win here today, I think we can call them a great side. They've been excellent all the way through the tournament. This should be a cracking game. Ivan Perisic. Neymar. He's in behind. Still possibilities. Well, threat over for now. And he could be in proper trouble here. And a body in the way. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And that's an important intervention. Mateo Kovacic, Perisic, can he find the net? Untidy in possession.
Kovacic on to Perisic and a decent delivery and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately Vinicius Junior Modric now a decent position intercepting it intelligently Kovacic and dive in to thwart him Going short. And he takes on the shot. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. They need to get bodies back. Paqueta. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Neymar. Takes the shot. A gift for any goalkeeper. Andrei Kramaric. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And deciding to go short with this one. And he cuts in from the wing. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. And now they get the ball rolling. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Might be able to produce from this position. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. It's a decent looking attack here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Brazil moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Mario Pashalic. Now with Paqueta. Well, he's lost the ball. Oh, that's a really good run. And that's a straightforward stop. Really good interception. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. So a personnel change then.
Vinicius Junior. He's enjoying space. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Oh, breezing past him. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Danilo. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kramaric. A really top-notch piece of defending. Modric. And teammates to play it to. A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Fabinho. A super tackle and they've won possession. Can he put it away? There it is! And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Goal. Three goals without reply, and the referee blows the whistle for full time. We have new World Cup winners, namely Croatia. Well, four years ago, they got to the final and were frustrated. This time, they've gone one better. And what a great performance from them. Croatia, world champions. The beaten finalists in 2018 are the winners in 2022. And what a night it is, especially for their fans. They've followed their team here. The players have played brilliantly. The coach has done a great job as well. What a night for everybody involved with Croatia.
And so the match is underway.